Hi, my name is Krista McHugh and I'm a network engineer for Verizon. Um, network engineering is essentially every device that you have, um, your phone, your home internet, um, when you go to a store and you swipe your credit card, all of that stuff um, goes across networks and there's routers and switches and all sorts of infrastructure needed so that when you send your friend a text message, it makes it to their phone or if you send an email, it makes it to its recipient. So that's what I that's what I do. There's a whole specific set of equipment and protocols and technology that allows that to happen. And, and that's what we do in network engineering. As far as skills and education, it can vary depending on your employer. I think the biggest thing that's important when you're looking for a job in network engineering is proving that you have a base knowledge of network engineering I always suggest um, Cisco, CCNA, and CCNP certifications because if you know the material in those certifications, you have a good understanding to build on for network engineering. Um, some companies want a degree, some don't. Um, an MIS or computer science degree would definitely help you get a leg up, but I think it's more important to show that you have a base of skills to build on. Um, network engineering is about being able to to learn on the fly and, and keep your knowledge evolving with the technology because the technology is always changing so if you can prove to someone that you're you're good at learning and you're good at um, adapting you'll be successful i know many of you right now are doing your education and your internships uh, remotely and uh, there's definitely a lot of challenges with working remote i work um, from home so I'm very aware of that. And I also um, completed my last degree online. Um, you definitely need to be disciplined. My suggestion is to create a schedule and stick to it. Um, create the times when you're gonna study, but also create the times when you're gonna take a break. Um, the breaks are important. Your, your mental health is important. Making sure you, you, know, you have an outlet um, for exercise, for just blowing off steam. So, you know, as much as it's important to be like, we're going to, I'm going to study from this time to this time, it's also important to schedule going out with your friends or, or going for a run or just something to keep your, keep some balance because um, things can get hectic, but definitely create a plan, create a schedule and, and stick to it. Um, consistency and, um, you know, just some kind of framework is kind of key. If you try to wing it from day to day, you're just not going to be successful. I think in the next 10 years, network engineering is going to become even more in demand than it is today because everything runs across a network, your cell phone, um, you know, they talk about automated cars, um, robotics and AI are, are something that's emerging in the next 10 years and they need data networks to be able to, to communicate in order to make them run. So I, I really feel like the network engineering is, is going to be um, fundamental for the evolution of technology. So this is a, a good place to be as far as um, where technology is going in the next 10 years. One of the biggest misconceptions I've seen in this industry is that you have to be good at math and science in school in order to be a good uh, technology professional or network engineer. And that's just not the case. Um, personally, I'm, I'm more, I started as an English major, I'm a writer and an artist, and I've done very, very well in network engineering. It's more about being able to be analytical and, and have critical thinking and be creative to think outside the box than it is to be able to do advanced math. So if, if they're not your strong suit, but you're still interested in technology, just go for it. Um, it it's just, that's just a misconception. Another misconception in our in technology is that everything is about computer programming and coding, and that and that's not the case in network engineering. Um, you don't do coding, and I'm not that great of a coder, but there's still a lot of areas like network engineering, cybersecurity, um, things like um, technical project management. There's so many things outside of coding. So if you don't take to coding, but you still think that you have a career in technology. Um, there's just so much else. There's just, it tends to, if you go online and look at programs, they tend to be focused on coding, but there's so much more to technology than coding. So if 
if you dip your feet into the ink to coating and you find that it's not for you, don't get discouraged. There's so many other things to do in technology. There's a lot of resources out there for those that want to get more exposed to technology. Just go, go and Google it. There's so many free tutorials or so many YouTube videos. Um, there's so much out there to learn for free. Um, so, so go out there and, and dive in. And, and for women interested in technology, I highly recommend a program um, called Built by Girls um, that will help find you a mentor in technology. Um, it's, a, it's a free service and, and it'll connect you with people in the industry. Also, I, I run a website, it's riotnotquiet.com and there's a lot of information on, um, on the, the challenges and, and the opportunities in technology. So you can check that out and um, feel free to reach out to me um, at Krista at riotnotquiet.com. I'd always be willing to point you in the right direction. So thank you for listening and, and good luck.